Yeah, this is major damage. I have broken off a plywood fin that has a through the wall tab. Is this worth fixing? And if you can, how can you fix it? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. On this particular rocket, um, I had a really hard landing, and two fins broke off the rocket. And they're both through the wall fins and they're plywood, which means that it's going to be really difficult to get them out. Um, now I've already gone ahead and experimented trying to figure out how I would go about trying to replace this fin. You have to decide if it's worth doing because this is major rocket surgery here. Um, I tend to avoid trying to use power tools in these videos because I want to show that anybody can fix pretty much any rocket. But in this particular case, we're gonna have to go to a Dremel power tool. And you may not have one, so it may be worth um, rebuilding the rocket. Um, a lot of times, like this is a pretty long rocket, so I could pretty much, you know, cut it off um, right here um, above the front centering ring. I can tell the front centering ring is right here by squeezing it. Um, so I'd probably go maybe like two inches above that, cut it off, and then splice on a new fin can. But in this case, I want to go and show you my technique of trying to replace these fins. And it's it's pretty ugly, um, but we'll go ahead and do it in case you want. Maybe your rocket has high sentimental value. Um, that you want to keep as much of the original as possible. So um, these are scrap. Um, I've gone ahead and um, cut some new plywood fins to replace those that broke off. So first, um, I'm going to start by cutting out along the edge. Now this rocket didn't have big fin fillets on it. Um, and if you do have big fin fillets on it, that's going to make it even harder. Um, so I'm going to first cut along here because I want to break that glue line of the fin um, on both sides. In fact, I might try to plunge. Yeah, I can. I can there's a really good glue line on this one because uh, it does not want to go. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to use like a sawing motion along that edge. We're going to have a big gap later. And um, the only way to fill it is with some epoxy clay. Okay, so that's one side. Okay, so I've got it loosened up there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to I want to peel back one side of this so I can get a little bit more access inside here. Yeah, that fin is in there really good. Um, You can try breaking it off. You have to be careful. Um, so my next step, you know, like I said, I'm gonna I want to peel this back so we can get um, a better view of what's going on on the inside. So this is the front of the fin right there. So I'm gonna cut here. And then here's the back end right there. So I'll cut there. So now this tube is a thin wall tube. Um, if it was a thick wall tube, 
Um, I'd have to I'd have to cut it right here as well and then remove this whole thing. And I've done a video on that technique in the past where I repaired a, a Zephyr rocket. Um, that's pretty hard to, but I, if I can lift it up, then I can actually see it, what's going on inside of there. And I know you won't be able to see it, um, but um, lift it back and see if I can, I can't snap it off um, without ruining the tube that it's glued to. So what I'm gonna use is a Dremel and this has a little ball bit on the on the top. Um, I've used this bit as well. This one is for um, cutting on the side. Um, and that's how I did, I removed this one. Um, but it's, I was gouging into the paper. Um, so this time I wanna use a ball so that once I get down into the tube, um, I'll be running along the edge on the flat part of the bit and hopefully that won't chew into the tube as much. So here's where we're going to um, grind away that piece of wood right there. And I got to go all the way down to the, um, to where it glues to the tube inside. So here we go. So, well, it looks about as bad as that one does. <laughs> okay, so um, now on the bottom, um, it's still kind of rough here. And I want to smooth that out and there's a little bit of glue there. And I don't want to get into the, the body tube in, underneath. So I'm gonna use a chisel tip X-Acto knife um, and use it in a scraping motion to scrape this smooth. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty ugly. <laughs> um, now we're at the point where we're starting to rebuild. 
Um, and the first thing that I need to fix is this cut line here. And for that, I'm gonna use a strip of paper and I need to make that paper as long as the line. And this is gonna get glued on the bottom side. So I'm just gonna cut my strip of paper. Kind of, kind of roll it like that. Take some glue. And we're only on one half right now. And that's going to go. Basically what I'm doing is building a little shelf so that when it, uh, once it just dropped it, where'd it go? It's in there somewhere. It's on the other side. all kinds of loose stuff there. Put some more glue on there. Well, it's still tacky, it's you can kind of slide it around. All right, so I got one. And drop that one too. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it this way so you can see what's going on. Got a little bit of glue on my finger and it wants to stick to my finger and not to the uh, to the wall. Pry my finger away. There we go. Come on. Like I said, this is major surgery. <laughs> there we go. All right, okay, so I got my two shelves there. And I'm going to let that dry. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll continue with the rebuild. Okay, the uh, shelf that I made for this little flap is dry. 
Um, so I can either glue that flap down now or I could glue the fin in. And kind of thinking about it, and I think I'll put the fin in. Um, the reason is I can always bend this back and then um, get in there and put a good fin fillet on it. Because um, I worry about, even though I've sanded that down as much as I can or scraped it down, um, it's still a little bumpy. So um, adding that fin fillet would probably be a good idea. Um, so that's where the fin is going to go. Um, it's a little bit, it's particularly in this one, um, I got a really big gap on there. So it's going to be floppy around. So I'm going to use a fin alignment jig. And this is the one that we sell here at Apogee. Just to make sure that my fins are in straight. They're going to go in there like that. And so I'll just put glue on the fillet right now, or put glue on the fin tab. Uh, glue it in, let that dry, and then we'll come back and put um, a fillet in there to really lock it down. Do the same for this one. That's on there and we're just going to let this dry. <laughs> 